One and two, Trey Tate, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Little Britain season one, episode seven, largest mince pie. Before we dive in, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Oh my go! Britain, 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 land of diversity. There are hardback books and paperback books. Socks come in different lengths and eggs is cooked in a variety of ways. But how diverse are the people of Britain? We aim to find out by following the lives of ordinary British persons. Oh, my sweet little Alan Luther. In her bed sit on this estate in Dark yeah. Blue, young mother Vicky Pollard is meeting her social worker. Oh, Sorry, day. I can't go on everything, Vicky. New because it was so fun. Because the other day it was all in the park and we were all laughing because Nicholas said she was going to set fire to Candice's hair. But then Ryan Morris said, I didn't know I hate it. And then we started getting off together and he flammed in my mouth and I was like, Oh my God, I so can't believe we've just done that. <laughs> then there was this whole other thing because no Amanda Keywright, but she told Ian Buck and she'd do it for a cream egg. So you're fine. Good. And how about the baby? Oh my God. Bye. Or oh, can I see her? It's not her, it's M. Oh, can I see it? New, but yeah, but new, but yeah, but new, because we was all going to go down the office, but then they wouldn't serve us because Emma only looks about nine. So then we was going to go down Wimpy instead, but then Liberty said she didn't want to go there because she heard Tyrone was going to be there. So she went up oh. the arcade with Sophie Bannerman instead, but she was a complete bitch to do that because Sophie Bannerman's best friends with Vanessa. Vanessa told Tony that I've had to David Wu, but everyone knows David Wu's got scabby legs. And the baby? Oh my god, so we knew there was this whole thing because Camilla's mum was going away, so Camilla said she was going to have a party. Then a man found out and said she couldn't have it, but we said she had to have it because she said it now, so she had it, but I wasn't invited. Yeah. So me and Jules was a bit mental when we were at Kayla's house, but she wasn't there. She was at the party getting fingered by Jamie Stone, but anyway, Kayla's not just going to any words for her tits. Vicky, where is the baby? Swapped it for a Westload CD. <laughs> Vicky Pollard is a trip, bro. Vicky Pollard is wild. How could you do such a thing? I knew they were rubbish. Did <laughs> <laughs> you mean evils? Toys in Britain uh, are sold in toy shops. This isn't a toy shop, it's a real shop. <laughs> God day. Hello, are you looking for anything in particular? Yes, I was wondering whether you had any pirate memory games suitable for children between the ages of four and eight. Er, uh, I'll just have a look. I can't see any here. In one moment. Margaret! Margaret! Ages four. Ages four to eight. Oh, we should have some up by the farm toys. Oh yes. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Dave was right dead in his face the whole time. It is fate. A pirate memory game. Ages four to eight. Can I have a look? There you go. Match the pirates and find the treasure. That's alright for you? Have you got any other pirate memory games? <laughs> it's not quite what I had in mind. I can't see any here. One moment. Margaret! Margaret! What? Oh. Have I got any other pirate memory games? What? Have I got any other pirate memory games? No! No. I think that's the only one they do. She says she thinks that's the only one they do. What's wrong with that one? <laughs> What's wrong with that one? I wanted something a little less piratey. He wanted something a little less piratey! Oh, now, has he tried Simmons? Have you tried Simmons on the high street? Yes, I've just been there. Oh, I don't know what to suggest. Is there a shop near here that specialises in pirate memory games? Oh, my uh, God. I'm not sure. Margaret? <laughs> Margaret! <laughs> Margaret! <laughs> Is there a shop that specialises in pirate memory games? Near here. Near here? Don't think there are. Local area, no. She says she doesn't think there are any in the local area, no. <coughs> okay, I'll, I'll just wait. 
Oh, wait. Meanwhile, the... What, what, what you mean? I just wait. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Fatties arrive for their weekly meeting. Paul, can I just... Uh, have a uh oh Paul, what happened last night was just a one-off. Yeah, okay. I was going to say something. Yeah, I don't know what came over me. I think I had a bit too much to drink. Yeah, I had more, but whatever, it's not going to happen again. Okay, let's just try and forget about it and not let it come into the meeting. All right. She definitely gonna bring it back up during the meeting. Okay, welcome to Fat Fighters. Now today we're gonna be talking about motivation. You all need a little bit more motivation. So what okay. we're gonna do, we're gonna start with a little exercise. Now I want everybody to close their eyes. Close your eyes, yeah? Empty your thoughts, that's it, yeah. And picture yourself naked. Not nice, is it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not nice, is it? <laughs> Bro, she be shaving the mess out of them people. Now, who the hell would want a great lump like that huffing and puffing away on top of them all night? Eyes <laughs> close, Paul. In Herbie, oh Lou God. Todd has kindly offered to paint his friend Andy's bedroom. Now, are you sure you want red? Yeah. Because I've got a very nice blue here. You like blue? Yeah, I know. But you'd rather have red. <laughs> red, yeah. Oh well, you did God. ask for red last time, and then you said you didn't like it. You said it was oppressive. You said red was the colour of blood and henceforth death. Yeah, I know. So what's it to be? Red. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not painting it <laughs> once and then having to do it again because you say you don't like it, because that's a right kerfuffle. I know. To, to oh. So final choice, red. Red? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't like it. Do you, uh, do you want to do the last little bit? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah, finished. I don't like red. <laughs> For 20 years now, Len Booth has been taking visitors on his tour of the charming village of Pove. Okay, ladies and gents, uh, first up, on your right is St. Robin's Church. Uh, the church was built in 1508 although there was actually a fire here in 1812 and the original wooden roof was destroyed. It's a funny thing actually, I will always have fond memories of that church because it was on that bench there that me and my wife Eileen first kissed. And we've been married 32 years this year. <laughs> oh, day! Thank you very much. Now, next up is the, uh, the Hanging Judge, uh, which is actually the oldest pub in Pove. Dates back to, we think, 1604. Why it's called the Hanging Judge, no one seems to know. Incidentally, uh, just in the beer garden by the swings is where Eileen first permit me to have a little go on her breasts. Okay, we're coming up now to the old bridge, which actually goes back to Roman times. And it was actually underneath this bridge uh, that my wife first performed an act of oral love upon me. <laughs> Sorry, it's a... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll think they signed up to hear that on a tour. I, I feel like that, that wasn't a part of the a, a, a marketing for this tour. Uh, I feel like... No was, smoking vehicle love. Okay. Now we are coming up to one of the oldest blacksmiths in the country. A legend has it that Charles I stopped off there to get his horse's shoes changed. And it was just down that path there that I first took Eileen up the ramen. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Meanwhile, at this pub in Clandui Brevi, the glasses are being collected early because it's a special night. Oh my God. 
Oh, oh my God. God. Well, move on with this crisp such as an onion. Oh, do gay people not like cheese and onion? Well, I don't, and I am a gay. <laughs> I'll open the barbecue beef. If you wouldn't mind. I think you're going to get a big crowd in tonight. I'd be very surprised if anybody turned up at all, my family. Everybody knows I am the only gay in this village. So you keep saying? Well, it's five to eight. There's no one here. I might as well go on now. But it's still early. And it says eight o'clock on the posters. I don't know why I bother putting on this gay night. It was doomed from the start. Well, my family, I imagine I'll always be the only gay in the village. Good night to you. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Get rid of them. Oh, I do no such thing. You made your gay bed, now lie in it. There you go. Oh you made your gay bed, now lie in it. You are not the only gay in the village anymore. From henceforth, things are changing. Stop it. Oh, Uh, I'm very sorry, gays, but I'm afraid gay night has been cancelled. Oh. Oh. Yes, I've, uh, I've just had a letter from the council uh, saying that uh, there's only one gay allowed in Landaway Breffy, and uh, that's me. So if you could all return to your neighbouring villages, please. Oh, oh, no. oh, David, you bloody fool. What? Well, think of all the cock and bum fun you could have had. <laughs> Close my pet for one of your gay nights. Oh, I see you got someone against gay people, have you? <laughs> Samantha oh Grant recently God. upset her parents by marrying her former teacher. In an effort to clear the air, she has invited them round for dinner. Ah, oh, that ain't gonna be a good idea. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this teacher. He caused at least still teaching that. <laughs> He's still correcting you know, her every little mistake. Time your parents coming? Any minute now, and I can't find the napkin rings. Calm down, Samantha. I just want everything to be right, that's all. Look, I may have been your teacher, but we're just like any other couple. <gasps> the bell is a signal for me, not you. <laughs> just put the veg on. Oh, Mrs. Hughes, please, come in, come in. Oh, thank you. Please sit down. Right. Samantha, 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 Samantha. Oh my God. Samantha Carver. Ah, yes, Samantha Grant. Yes. Yeah, I mean, overall, it's been a good three months of marriage for Samantha. Um, she's a very clever girl. She's got a lot to say for herself, sometimes a little too much. <laughs> and her work can sometimes be a little slapdash. What do you mean? Well, um take this for example I mean she's dusted it obviously at the last minute and she's missed around the edges so I had to give her six out of ten uh, <laughs> please, Samantha. Whoa, don't run. sorry still kicking <clears throat> smells lovely dear oh we missed you Pat hello stranger Come on. oh how might one order a bottle of wine in France Samantha oh uh Un bouteau de vin, s'il vous plaît. Ah, c'est formidable. Samantha's very good at oral. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That relationship would have been over right there. It would have been a wrap right there. Sorry, Samantha, I know you're grown and you can make your own choice, but not this one. It is a sad day at Sandy Toxvik House. <laughs> We're very sorry for your loss. Thank you. Do come in. She's just through there. It sounds awful to say, but in a way, it's a relief. Yes. She'd been very ill for many years, and we'd had so many scares. In the end, it was just very peaceful. Mm. Mr. Garfield, yes. can you come in here, please, a moment? Uh-oh. Of course. He killed a maid. Eh? 
I'm a bird. Kitty wouldn't want you to cry. Mr. Chumley. Yes? She's not dead. Oh, no, I know. There's any chance you could take her anyway. <laughs> I know that any chance you could you could still grab her. Look at me and I'm I'm tired of being with kid. Uh, I'm tired. I need her to go. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, kiddo. <laughs> Over ten board games are sold every day in Britain. The most popular are Ask Alan. Frobisher's Fingers and Pig Dog. <laughs> I really thought that was a person, bro. I really thought that was a person. I swear. This is the big one. It's called Snakes and Snakes. Right. You know Snakes and Ladders? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's like Snakes and Ladders, but with snakes. Right. There is a snake <laughs> on every square. Devilishly difficult. No one's ever finished it. How's that for starters? <laughs> Got another one! Milk round! Right, um, how does milk round work? You are a milkman delivering milk or a woman to a house from your van or a flat. Right, you be the milk bottle, I will be the loaf of bread. Right, pick a cup. Uh, what's it say? Uh, two pints of milk, please. Right, what that means is, please, two pints of milk, please, for house number one. Right, roll the dice. <laughs> roll the dice. Oh, sorry. Uh. Six, ignore it. Right, what are you again? Uh, I think I'm the milk bottle. I wanted to be the milk bottle. Right, well, this is all very interesting. Right, got another one. Oh my god. Scratch wood, scratch. <laughs> Oh, I've never seen that move before. <laughs> oh my god. You got to be kidding me. Yeah, you've won. You're a clever one, I'll give you that. Right, got another one. Throw baby, catch baby. Right. But you need a real baby. Yeah. Oh. Cards. No. Fighting. How can I put this? In? I'm very sorry, there seems to have been some sort of misunderstanding here. Um, we are not a games manufacturer, you do know. <laughs> we've, we've, we've never made games here. We, we, we import tyres, you, you do know that. <laughs> your point being... At Kelsey Grammar School, oh my a God. new term is beginning. I said, right, let me introduce myself. My name is Mr. Cleves, and I will be teaching you <laughs> biology. Oh, my God. And he never took an assembly again. <laughs> this sorbet is delicious. Did you make it yourself? Yes, with a little help from Nigella. <laughs> what? I got it out of Nigella Lawson's book. You copied it from Nigella. Oh, oh my God. You I took just... the work of another girl and passed it off as your own. Right, in the bin. <laughs> I was enjoying that. <clears throat> as well, no one likes a cheat. Sorry about that. He doesn't always treat me like I'm still at school. Coffee, anyone? Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Oh. I think it's wonderful they still do this free milk. <laughs> child labour is thankfully alive and well in Britain. Today, some child actors are auditioning for a production of Bugsy Malone. Uh oh. James uh, Wilson and the Wild. Oh, almost threw up. That's disgusting. Uh. It's right. No pressure, but if you don't get it, we'll have to sell the rabbit. Carol, I'll do my best. Okay, good luck. 
Oh, <laughs> don't forget your tap shoes. And tell him your cousin was on double dare. <laughs> Does your boy uh, go up for much? Oh, uh, no, no, this is his first. Apart from the school play lately. Oh, so he's not at stage school? Oh, no, no, just normal school. He don't stand a chance then. What you got to do is you got to get him into a stage school. Are they not quite dear? Yeah, but you've got to make sacrifices. Look, I sold my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Just so Ray can go to a penny contest. So it's good then? Mm. Oh, it's worth every penny. He got down to the last 12 for Dairy Lee and he had a callback for Bodger and Badger. Really? <laughs> yes, I'm not a liar. Well, uh, thanks for all your advice, Lane. Of course, we always knew he was going to be an actor ever since before he was born. He's so talented, that's how he gets it from me. <laughs> right. Because I would have loved to have gone to a stage school, but my mother wasn't prepared to make the sacrifices I've made. Still, she's blind now. It gives me some comfort. <laughs> Still, she's blind now. That gives me some comfort. No, that she deserves, she deserves that blindness for her not sending me to stage school, making the stage school and making those sacrifices. <laughs> Mr. Wilton? We'd like to recall James for this afternoon. Mrs. Patterson, thank you. You're free to go. Well done, lad. Yeah. Well done. Really, really well done. <laughs> oh, is he all right? He's bleeding. Oh, he won't be bugs him alone now, will he? Come on. Better luck oh, next time. Oh, my God. Where is he? He'll be all right. Are you OK? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we're going to get cleaned up. It's party conference time. And late at night in his hotel room, the Prime Minister is making some final changes to his big speech. I love party conferences. They're brilliant. I've got them all on video. This is fine. Just uh, punch up the stuff about education reform. It's, uh, it's cool here tonight. OK. Well, we'll get to work on that, and we'll see you in the conference hall in the morning. Good night, Prime Minister. Good night. Oh, I thought they'd never leave. <laughs> oh, my God. Is there something else you wanted to talk about? Not really, no. <laughs> oh, I'm shattered. <laughs> um, it's probably the Japanese Prime Minister. Would you mind? Oh, can I just use your loo? Oh, my God. Hello? Yeah, yeah, put it through. Ain't better not come out and change clothes and try to wear something nice for the Prime Minister. You better not do it. Uh, Kazuko! Konnichiwa. Yes, yes, it's coming along. Look, I've, um, I've got the treaty oh right here. Oh, my God. <laughs> what exactly are your objections to? Yeah, well, no, I... I you realise the, uh, it's a very sensitive issue for your people. Yeah. No, no, I appreciate your concerns about the second clause. Well, perhaps we could look at making an amendment that everybody would. Oh, my God, bro. Yes? No, I should no. be meeting with the Cabinet tomorrow, and I think we'll be able to get a much clearer picture. No! No! No, I, I think it's... Very nearly there. It's just I like, can't. I can't watch the details, it. Isn't it? Okay. Hmm? No, I, I take it you'll be at the summit on the 15th. Well, I think it's very important that we have a result. Are you guys going to be long? He'll <laughs> 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 call you back. Oh, oh my God. Prime Minister. <laughs> At his home in Herbie, Andy is busy eating his own body weight in nuts. What are you watching? Monster trucks? Monster trucks, sir. <laughs> well, I have got something rather special for you. What is that? It's the new chair you wanted. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I had to go all the way down to Cromwell for it. It was a right kerfuffle. Right, let's see. Let's pop you in it, yeah? 
Oh, how funny. Age is 4 to 8, and he does look a little less piratey than the other one. Well, mm. what does he reckon? Well, what do you reckon? Not piratey enough. <laughs> Can I have a look at the other one again? Yes, of course. There you go. And how much is this one again? Uh, they both retail at £4.95. Oh. Oh, is there a problem? I was hoping to spend around £4.80. <laughs> I'll be getting some money for my birthday next week. I'll buy it then. Yes. I'll wait. I, I've given it to him for free just to get him out of my face, bro. You can have it. Just please go. Delta accommodation is where people who are too old and lazy to do things for themselves are kept. <laughs> so, uh, no granddad in the frame. Oh, oh my god. god. Well, got ten years ago. Oh, great. Shot that must have been. <laughs> Hello, Sorry to keep you. My hips playing up again. You remember Jason? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, buy me bag. It's nearly full. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we got the shopping. Oh, you are good. Come in. Oh, I'm sorry I'm in me 90. That's all right. You've got the figure for it. Oh, thanks. We'll, uh, we'll just put these away for you. Oh, thanks. Cheers. Oh, my God. Thanks oh, for my... helping with the shopping. You are a good boy. I can be a bad boy sometimes. <laughs> It's hot in here. I like it nice and warm. Working up. Quite a sweat. <laughs> you, you couldn't pass me that puff, could you, dear? Your feet are killing me.
Oh, I forgot to say, I won't be here tomorrow night. Mr. Jackson will be filling in for me. <laughs> well, I think that's ready to go in the oven now. Oh, wow. What oven is going to hold that? I've got it, I've got it. So we have reached the end of this evening's television program. And what a remarkable array of Britons we've met. My favourites were the little kicking boy, Beefy Bill, and Dickie Snapples, the dwarf who hides apples. Until next time, goodbye. That's how we got. You guys got a very video suggestion. You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. It's your boy Dinia. Out.